Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. So in the last video we learned uh, how to render a list of players uh, that is from an array. Uh, but in this video we are actually going to insert this uh, entries or documents uh, into our Meteor database. Uh, so we are going to create a players API. So let's get started. So as you can see uh, we have this folders called client import and server. So go to the inside, go inside the import folder. I'm going to create a new folder over here called API. And inside API folder, I'm going to write a new file called players.js. So players.js is actual API, which connects uh, to Meteor's uh, Mongo database. And we're going to create a collection of players over here. So it's simply, uh, right import first of all uh, we have to import mongo from meteor so we're going to import mongo meteor mongo and we're going to create a constant players and which is going to be a new collection of mongo so uh, i'm not going to go deeper into uh, mongo database and simply going to uh, create a mongo collection so collection is uh, uh, basically uh, we are telling meteors mongo database to create a section or maybe create a table of players so this is a collection and we are going to call it as players so once you create uh, a new collection of players we have to just export this that's it simply export it but to consume this uh, it's a different way not sure why that was for but anyway so we are exporting players and we are going to consume this players inside our main file and the interesting part is uh, remember in the client uh, we are using meet your startup so yes, Meteor Startup is available on front-end as well as on back-end. So we are inside server main.js. And uh, what I mean by that is, uh, let's just uh, write the imports first. So we're going to import the newly created players first. That is a collection, which is uh, just an internal file. So we are going to go one folder outside and we are going to go inside import slash API slash players. And after this, uh, we are going to import uh, the actual uh, Meteor. That's the same way how we import it inside the front end code. Uh, so Meteor Startup. So Meteor Startup is actually a function uh, available for front end as well as back end. So we are waiting for the server to get ready and it sync, let, let it sync up with the database. And once everything is done, we are doing a callback. And this is like server ready, just name for our function. Okay, so when Meteor Startup is ready, we are going to insert into players collection. So we are going to insert an array, uh, but inserting is a kind of a different way so for now just we are going to insert an object that object is name so i'm just going to insert my name ajinkya and my score is nine all right uh this let's just see uh, what we have inserted so i'm just going to do a console.log over here and just to see players.find. All right, so once you do players.find, you also have to append fetch. Fetch is needed uh, after you do a find. That is necessary, as mentioned in the Meteor Mongo documents. Uh, by the way, uh, so this call is a synchronous call. So. Uh, what I mean by synchronous this will run and once this is done only after that this code will run Okay, so let's just save this and I'm going to view the console 
and you can see uh, we have successfully inserted into mongo database and we are able to fetch the data uh, back from the uh, mongo db as well so what i'm going to do is uh, simply uh, just open up another terminal window over here uh, this is for quickly just to check we have the same data into our mongodb uh, to run that uh, meteor has a neat function over here called <coughs> meteor mongo all right once you're inside meteor mongo okay and and you have access to a variable global variable called db and so inside our db we have players that find and that's it uh, so once you are inside the uh, mongo database you don't have to do call the fetch function the fetch function is needed only when you're outside the mongo database all right so as you can see we inserted this name and score but mongodb automatically uh, added an id uh, this is a randomly generated uh, hash code uh, so this is going to be unique id every time uh, let's just insert one more entry and uh, so to insert one more entry i'm just going to type another name over your sigil and i'm going to give a score of eight and i just save this and you can see we have one more id over here and uh, let's just do that db.players.find and you can see we have two players now but what happens when i <laughs> call this two times so i'm just going to call this um, test player okay and i'm just going to give it a 99 score and save it and you can see it has inserted this now <laughs> you'll see the funny part you can see sagel has been inserted multiple times because uh, this is as i mentioned this is a synchronous call every time you call insert this is going to insert something into database all right, so we have already inserted this into database. We'll see how to remove this uh, from database as well, uh, but in the next video. So till then, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to add new videos for you. Uh, in next videos, when we meet, uh, we are, instead of this array, we are going to connect to our Meteor database, uh, Meteor Mongo database, and load the players from there. Thank you. Thanks for watching.